What I really love about the idea behind the Blue Wren Foundation is that we take this to men from all sectors of society and it's about the prevention of. So it's an awareness program for men to be in touch of those things you mentioned, their attitudes, their beliefs. So it's really about the prevention side. I really want to make that the key uh, prevention for all men to step in and do some uh, educational and emotional work about that connection to family and domestic violence. I think we're only really touching the tip of the iceberg when it comes to domestic violence and family violence in general. I think it is important that people talk about their issues and open up and only then will we be in a position to be able to identify the, the issues around domestic violence. It does take a lot of courage, emotional courage if you like, to step up and say, look, this isn't working for me, it's harming my relationship. I don't feel good in it. I need to do something about this. And that takes great courage. But what we know, Avery and I know, is once the men get there and once they start to do some work, the rewards are massive for themselves, of course, but for their partners, for their children. So the rewards for stepping up, being brave and fronting up are just huge. I'm very much an advocate for the women to become empowered but for the men to be very self-aware of what can actually happen if they continue down the path that they may be on and they might not even be aware of it. So we have something called the line in the sand and each man will explore that line in the sand for themselves to see where their attitude and beliefs are around that and then working through the process of the two days we'll bring that line in the sand closer to them so that those attitudes and beliefs and feelings change for the better for themselves for their family for the community i actually see it about who i am in relation to everyone and so it's teaching me to be a better person and therefore i see this as teaching others to do the same we, we have a network of very experienced counselors men who are very experienced in men's work they can follow up the work and we will be running further programs. There'll be level one, level two, and hopefully retreats, longer retreats as well. This is only the start. And then I see that then there'll be groups and workshops and stuff for women. We're doing the men stuff and then the men and women. So we're doing both. That's, that's how I see it. And I see it going right across Australia. I see that people will get, they'll get it. They'll get the message, they'll get the understanding and uh, all of a sudden Blue Wren will be something that I see that our planet will go, wow, look at what they're doing. And they're doing it way earlier than some of the stuff around when that's already happened, whenever domestic violence has already happened. What we're seeing is the, pattern, the repeating patterns in domestic violence where women, for example, keep attracting a partner that's not of the highest good for them and the results. So understanding where that comes from, changing that and changing it for the good. You get to the point where it's, it's too hard to turn around and get out of a situation. If you can prevent being in the situation in the first place, a lot, a lot, a lot of heart, heartache is going to be um, just not there. The thing, the key is that men will feel safe in that space and we will say when men walk through that door, magic happens.